uh, sir, joining us. Uh, Ms. Lal, good morning uh, uh, and congratulations. Now you are free to tell us what kind of growth prospects, now that you are listed, uh, what are the revenue projections for 16 and 17? Uh, I will not be able to answer you know, that question right now because it's a futuristic kind of a thing, but we uh, would like to maintain our uh, growth you know, so far, which we have shown. And uh, with the expansion plans, the, uh, the, the profit margin might come down a little bit. Uh, we, we are uh, going to build the two more uh, national reference uh, labs, one in Kolkata, one in uh, Lucknow, and the ecosystem around it. So there might be a little bit of uh, diminishing of the uh, EBITDA margins. But uh, net net, we've been there for the last 66 years mm. and shown a very healthy uh, growth trajectory. So I'm sure that we'll be growing, uh, you know, uh, profitably. Okay. So can you tell us how much exactly have you raised uh, through this uh, listing, and what will be the what will the funds be deployed for? The uh, we've raised about uh, 630 to 640 crores. Mm. And uh, as you know, that this was a completely secondary, um, uh, uh, you know, sale for offering. So uh, we already have about uh, 250 or 237 uh, crores uh, in our, uh, you know, reserves. So those are going to be deployed first, as I have just mentioned to you, that we are going to be uh, building, uh, you know, more labs, more ecosystems. We we operate on a on a hub and uh, a spoke kind of a basis. We are the originators of the franchisee collection centers. So India will see a, a growth in, 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 in everything which we are connected with, which is diagnostics and giving high quality uh, diagnostics at very affordable prices to our countrymen. Uh, Dr. Lal, you said that uh, you might see a dip in margins because of uh, the expansions on the anvil. What should investors be prepared for? Would it still be north of 20%? I can't, uh, you know, I'm a non-finance guy, so I can't t tell you much about the numbers. But whenever there is an expansion, there might be a little bit of dip. Mm. But as we have always expanded in our past, etc., we are not going to, uh, you know, stop now, especially when we are listed. And we are going to take these, uh, the percolate the high-quality diagnostics uh, to everywhere. Last year, we tested about uh, 10 million patients. So hopefully this number will keep on increasing with our more penetration inside India. So you did mention that uh, this 237 crores that you have in your reserves, you will be using it to build many new labs. Can you give us a number? Currently you own, I think, about 200 clinical labs. Uh, how many would you plan to grow it by in the next, say, uh, couple yeah. of years? See, uh, and uh, in which geographies? Yeah, yeah. So now the, uh, we have about 172 labs right now, out of which is one national reference lab, which is in Rohini in New Delhi. And, and this takes care right now of the entire um, uh, Indian country. And we would like to have now two more such ecosystems. So we are, as, as we are based or originated from Delhi, we are very, very strong in the north of India, mm. center of India slightly, east of India, west of India slightly. So now, with the population booming in our country, we have decided that we will look after, you know, these segments in a much more uh, purposeful manner by uh, getting into the UP territory, for example, which has a population of nearly 20 crores, Bihar, Northeast, another 10 crores, etc., etc. Mm. So they, uh, India has always been underserved, especially in high-quality diagnostics. <laughs> we want to you know, uh, fill that void now. That, uh, I'm sure we can do that now. Will you also look at uh, buying up uh, existing labs in organic expansion? Inorganic is always there, madam, because uh, uh, in India has about 50,000 to 100,000 labs, and most of these labs are in, you know, smaller towns, uh, not only in bigger towns. So we will definitely have a look at the inorganic growth plans now. So far, we have been an, an, an orga organically growing company, but uh, now we can look at the inorganic growth plans also, and uh, we would, uh, you know, uh, look forward to people <coughs> who have got the same DNA as us, which is high quality, and who are uh, able to progress like us, so that inorganic growth model we can turn into an organic one with passage of time. So in uh, FI17, what may be the total number of labs you will have? Do you have a number or a direction in mind? Uh, we would probably be growing, uh, you know, at about, uh, uh, at an average of about, uh, you know, 30 to 40 labs per year. 
But don't forget that we are also coming up with two huge labs, one in Kolkata and one in Lucknow, yes. which would take about uh, one and a half to two years to build. Okay, so just to get the numbers right, you said that the growth here on will be the same as you've seen in FY15. So even if you take a 20% growth that you saw in FY15, can we expect about 800 crores of revenues in FY16 and about 1,000 crores in FY17? Is that a reasonable expectation? I think so. Yes, madam. Oh. Oh. All right. We'll leave it at that, sir. Uh, Dr. Lal, thank you very much uh, for joining us and uh, giving us those details about your expansion plans. Uh, Dr. Lal's and Alkim, both listing with a tidy 30% uh, premium.